Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk about an old version of doing the automation of the contract management system that we did in a previous demonstration. So we're talking about reminders or promptings or, or, or something like that on a period basis that uh, somebody should get an email or notification uh, that something needs to be updated. And in this case, we have a contract library where there's a contract that needs to be renewed or expired or at least reviewed today. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing that. The old school way of doing it, I like to keep that included in my set of demos so that you know what's there. Uh, it might not be the recommended way anymore, but, but I'm going to show you how that works anyway. So uh, what you do then is you go into the uh, SharePoint Designer and you create a SharePoint 2010 workflow. It's important that it's a SharePoint 2010 workflow. And of course, that will contain the, the send email action that we want. And then you go into the library settings. And usually, there is a link there to the information management. I've taken that from a, from a classic mode site. But as you see, this information management policy settings it does not appear in the document library settings there. Usually, though, you can get to these pages by just entering the URL. So I'm going to do just that. I'm just going to copy this bit and paste that in here. And not to the list edit, but to this page instead. And there you see I can actually get into the information management policy settings for this contracts folder, even in the modern layout. And there I can put on a retention stage. So I want to add a retention, a retention stage. And once I've done that, I can base my retention stage on the renewal or expiry date and make it minus seven days based on that date. And then I can kick off a workflow there. And as you see, I have this retention stage test. So that is the old recommended way of doing reminders. Uh, with retention stages and then kicking off a SharePoint 2010 workflow. However, I've had reports of this not working properly. And um, also, of course, it's a SharePoint 2010 uh, workflow. So I'm probably not going to recommend that. But I wanted to show you, I want to have a video where I talk about that technique and uh, the retention stage and the information management policy settings so that you have that for completeness. But as I said, I will not recommend that one now. But it might be worth testing for you. Thank you for watching this demonstration.